Are you getting ready to apply for business funding? Well, hold that thought. You may need to take a moment to look over your personal credit score and evaluate how it stands currently. Yes, your personal credit history is a key factor even when applying for funding through your business. They're not just looking at your business setup, they're evaluating you. So your personal credit is a reflection of your financial responsibility to the banks and they see it as a mirror in your ability to manage debt. They believe that your habits on the personal side will likely translate to your business. So it's really important that you set yourself up correctly to get the best results for your business. So to position yourself in the best way possible with your personal credit, I'll review the five top things that the banks will be looking for. First one is very, very important. This is negative items. So it includes anything such as late payments, collections, charge off, bankruptcies. So as a very quick rule, easy, rule to give you is that if you have any of these, you're essentially not going to be able to get funding, especially if it's recently. So if you have a late payment that's over two years old, you could potentially get some funding, but it'll be a lot less than you could have without it. And if you have any collection charge off or bankruptcy at any point, however, you'll automatically very likely get denied. So that's why I recommend for you to actually remove these negative items off your credit report before even starting the business funding sequence. And the way to do this is that you want to dispute the items based on the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You're allowed to dispute any negative item on your credit report if it's deemed to be incorrect, inaccurate, or unfair. So I recommend that you go out there and find the right credit repair strategies or work with a credit repair agency to actually get these items off. It could take some time, depending on which strategy that you use, it could potentially take a couple months, but the time put into fixing your own personal credit report is going to make a huge impact. Not only in able to get some business funding, which will allow you to grow your business and hit the next level, but it also allows you to get better rates for your actual personal credit loan. So if you're getting a mortgage or an auto loan, you'll get much better rates and it'll be a lot easier for you to get approved for basically anything. So I really recommend that the first step right here would be to remove any negative item on your report so you can get yourself into a much better position for funding. So the second item here is going to be your utilization. So you want to bring your utilization down as much as possible. And that's because the banks tend to want to lend to individuals and businesses that don't actually need the funding that much, funny enough. So you need to bring the utilization down as much as possible. And it's based on the percentage of how much of a balance you're leaving on your actual credit cards in comparison to the actual limits that you have. So your utilization really only does matter for a personal credit card. So if you have any loans, auto loans, mortgages, those percentages won't matter but this matters especially for your personal credit cards. So if you have, for example, a personal credit card with a thousand dollar limit and you're carrying a balance of $500, well, you're using 50% of that limit. So you have a utilization of 50%. And this utilization ratio does matter as a whole, but also on an individual basis. And the number you want to get to is below 30%. So you need 30% on every single one of your personal credit cards, not really just the average, the average can help, but you really need every single personal credit card to be below 30% before you can apply for funding. And if you want to maximize, you want to bring that number down to below 10% actually. So this will really help you out for funding. It'll actually allow you to get approved once you get below 30% and you'll see your credit score actually jump very, very much just based on this factor because utilization is one of the two top factors when it comes to your personal credit score. The other factor being the negative items and the on-time payments. So take care of your utilization and you'll be that much closer to your personal business funding application. So the next factor is going to be your credit age. So this is how long have you had credit history and how long have you maintained the different credit items on your report. So to the banks, longer the better. You've been able to show on-time payments and responsibility with these credit accounts for a longer period of time, which makes you seem more responsible because you've been able to maintain it for so long. And there's a couple different thresholds to get to, which will help you increase your credit score and help you get funding easier. And the first basic one to strive for is two years average age. 
And the average really is the most important factor for the age of your credit. And the way that you calculate the average age is by summing up the age of each account and dividing it by the number of accounts that you have. So let's say for example, that you have two accounts. One is brand new, so zero months old, and the other one is two years old. Well, if you add zero years plus two years, you divide it by two, your average age is one, right? So that's how you calculate your average age, but you'd ideally want your age to be at least two years old. That will really help you get better funding results. So there's a couple different ways to do this, but really either you want to just maintain your credit history and wait it out. Credit is a long-term game, but if you do want to go a little bit faster and kind of hack this metric right here, you can also add accounts that are older. And the way to do this is to get added as an authorized user. So if you know someone such as a family member or a close friend that has accounts that they've maintained for a long period of time, they can add you as an authorized user to that account and it'll then show on your credit report. So if they've had an account for eight plus years, that'll really increase your average age. And for an authorized user, it typically doesn't cost any money. It does not hurt their credit and you don't even need to actually possess the card. You don't have to ever use it for you to actually benefit from the history of that account. So huge benefits to using those. However, now that that account's showing on your report, you just wanna make sure that they actually use it responsibly. So if they don't have any late payments or high utilization, those would actually affect your personal credit. So as long as you're using it wisely, you can really benefit from that age you can increase your average so that now you can hit that two year threshold and get that much closer to your funding. So the next one will be the size of the limits you have on your personal credit card accounts. In this case, the larger, the better. The banks want to know that you've been able to handle large limits before, before extending these large limits on the business side of things. And on the business, they tend to give you much larger limits about three to four times what you get on the personal side of things. But if you've never handled large limits before, they might be a little reluctant to do it on the business side of things. So for this metric right here, I usually recommend that you have at least one card with a $10,000 limit on the personal side of things. So the way to get there is to either ask for credit limit increases on your personal credit cards. You can do this every six months. I do recommend that you do this only if it's a, not a hard pull, however, because that's going to work against you if you have too many inquiries on your report but you want to ask for these credit line increases every six months and then you'll be able to get that much closer to your funding results you can also get premium personal credit cards so every bank has these premium cards on their roster that you can apply for and for them to be considered a premium card they have to give you at least a ten thousand dollar limit so one of these could be the chase sapphire reserve for example if you were to get approved for this card you'll get at least a ten thousand dollar limit on that account. So now you'll hit that threshold. The third way to do this is to get an authorized user account. So those are great for hacking your credit age, but you can also benefit from the limit that's on that account. So if you know someone that has a credit card with a very large limit, you could check off this box by adding that account to your credit report. And now you're in a great position for the funding. So if you're able to get a large limit on the personal side of things, you'll be able to qualify for much more on the business. So really don't skip out on this one. And the final factor here is the number of accounts on your credit report. So having enough accounts allows you to have more on-time payments every month, which really strengthens your credit report. And also it can show that you can handle having multiple different debt products. So the banks feel more comfortable giving you more. So typically a thin credit report is anything with three accounts or below. If you have less than three accounts, it's kind of a shallow file it'll make it a little harder for you to get funding but once you have four or more now you're in a great position to go and apply for business funding so if you have less than four accounts there's a couple different things you can shoot for for either getting that premium credit card or you can get a credit builder loan so that you don't have any hard inquiries on your reports you could go and get an auto loan, a mortgage. I wouldn't recommend just getting it just to get it. But if you do need one, you could potentially go and apply for that before getting your, your funding. So having at least four accounts will strengthen your report. You'll have more on time payments 
and you'll be managing enough accounts that the banks will feel more comfortable extending you out some funding. So that's everything you need to do to prepare your personal credit, to qualify for these massive limits on your business and get the funding you need to really scale to the next level. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions about any of these items right here, just drop a comment down below and be sure to subscribe so you can learn more about business funding, growing your business and scaling to the next level. So I'll see you on the next video and talk soon.